Hey guys, welcome to iBuddy. We are here with new topic that is trial master file. Many pharmacy and life science graduates are struggling for job, and if you are one of them, this video will help you to understand basic of TMF that should be good to qualify interview. So watch this video till end, and if you like the video, please subscribe the channel and stay tuned for more information. Let us see the agenda we will cover today. We will try to see the background that will help you to understand context of this topic. We will learn what is ETMF. What are essential documents? What is the structure and contents of ETMF? We will cover some basic of TMF reference model. You will get inside of job description and which companies that will hire you and salary you get paid. Will you introduce you to a buddy platform that is helping student like you to understand different topics? Hope this would be interesting session for you. So let us get started. Let us try to understand background and need of ETMF. A clinical trial is a process that aims to determine the safety and efficacy of medical interventions that is medications, procedures, and tools in human. During clinical trial, various documents are created as artifacts, and these documents may be a digital documents or paper documents or hybrid. In clinical trials, various documents are produced as artifacts like protocol, CRF, ICF, site visit report, etc. In paper documents trials, during inspection, tons of documents are shifted to site of inspection, which is very cumbersome. Paper documents becomes challenge in storage, archival, and retrieval. In last two decades, clinical trials have moved from paper to digital platform, and technology has played a key role in digitization. Now let us learn about EDMF. In a clinical trial, a set of documents known as a trial master file that is TMF must be produced in accordance with applicable international and local regulations. These documents serve to demonstrate the compliance of the investigator, sponsor, and monitor with the standards of good clinical practice. Therefore, TMFs are a collection of documents and other artifacts which individually and collectively permit evaluation of the conduct of a trial and the quality of the data produced. EDMF helps to reconstruct the trial during inspection. The ICHGCPE 6 guidelines define essential documents as documents that are critical to evaluating the conduct of a clinical trial and the quality of the data produced. The essential documents and data records stored in the TMF enable monitors, auditors, and inspectors to evaluate compliance with, with the protocol, the trial's safe conduct, and the quality of the data obtained. These essential documents are collected before, during, and completion or termination of clinical trial. The essential documents should be located in the file of the investigator and or sponsor. Imagine if these essential documents need to be shared with inspector and your documents are not stored properly, you will be struggling to get these documents. Therefore, TMF reference model play a very crucial role in indexing all the document with right naming convention so that you can retrieve them when required. Imagine if your own wardrobe is not in a range properly and you are running for meeting and not getting the right dress. So let us learn some basic of TMF or DIA reference model. You know the data generated in clinical trial need to be submitted to the regulatory authority. And if every sponsor submits the data in its own way, this will create the kiosk with regulators and delay in review and approval process. This will lead to high degree of variability and inconsistency in TMF. To overcome this, TMF reference model was created by DIA in 2008. The current version of the model is 3.2.0. The TMF reference model provides standardized taxonomy and metadata and outlines a reference definition of TMF content using standard nomenclature. This model consists of four main areas. One, standard contents. This define what is kept in a TMF. Second, standard naming, which mean naming terminology to be used for the documents. Third, standard structure, means support paper and electronic systems. And fourth, standard metadata which means minimum metadata at system and artifact level should be provided. I hope you have now clear idea why TMF reference model is important. Now take a look on this pictorial explanation. TMF reference model is divided into zone, sections, and artifacts. 
There are 11 zone like trial management, central trial documents, RB slash IEC, and other approvals, etc., as you can see on your screen. Each zone will have various subsections, and each section will store the artifacts. These artifacts are collections of information presented in records, documents, or data that one would expect to find in a TMF at both sponsor and investigator site. For example, Zone Trial Management, Section, Trial Oversight, which will store artifacts like Trial Master File Plan. This is another example how the documents are arranged on the TMF reference model. Now let us take looks how the Trial Master File looks like. This blue circle is the minimum list of essential documents as per ICHGCP required that we have discussed now. The red circle indicates trial-related records that permit evaluation of the conduct of the trial and quality of data produce. The yellow circle indicates other business records and supporting files like computer SDLC files, GMP, vendor selection, etc. that need to be part of the TMF. In summary, all the artifacts of the trial should be filed as per TMF reference model and should be easily retrieved during the inspection. I hope now you have understood the TMF reference model. Now let us see the software used in ETMF and potential benefits. Some of the key software used are Vidoc, Ignite, Viva Vault, Metadata Rave, and Trial Kit are some examples. Any software used for ETMF provided these benefits, real-time tracking and viewing of documents, easier to search and find documents, shorten clinical time, easy collaboration with IEC and IRB, increase TMF SOP compliance, better visibility and control on KPIs, cost saving, easier collaboration with sites, improved audit and inspection readiness, and easy collaboration with CROs. I am sure you have understood about TMF. Now you may be thinking what will be your job if you join the ETMF project. Let me explain what would you do. You will file the artifacts in right zone, right section. You will be responsible for QC of the artifacts from clinical trials using Alcoa principles. As per Alcoa, artifacts should be attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original, and accurate. If artifact meet these checks, QC pass the artifact and file the records as per reference model and if fail ask for new records with reason for QC fail. For example, the records are not clear it means it is not legible. We file the records to ensure sponsor is always audit and inspection ready. You will be responsible for TMF health check this means checking records for completeness, timelines and quality at trial level, country level and site level. During your job, you will communicate with CT manager slash CT leader for any query on the records. I am sharing some examples where you can apply for job, companies like TCS, Cognizant, IQVIA, LabCorp, Icon, Parexel, and Accenture are some big players, and you can see average annual salary on your screen with experience. As a fresher, my advice is to get into job and do not focus on salary negotiation. Hope this learning video helps to find you first job and start earning salary and happy like this man. Now at last, let me introduce you to iBuddy. This is a platform for helping the pharmacy and life science graduate by developing skill and education about clinical research. Many students have been benefited and have started their career. You can stay connected through Telegram, WhatsApp, YouTube, and app. All the link is given and stay connected through Telegram, WhatsApp, YouTube and app. All the link is given in the video description. You can use iBuddy app to learn about clinical research. You can chat with expert for any query, watch videos, solve several questions on various domain of clinical research and talk to expert every week to who prepare you for interview. We hope you have learned new thing today, and this will be helpful for your interview. Which topic would like to learn? Please comment so that we can create the learning video for you. If this video has helped you, please like, 
share, and subscribe, I buddy. Thank you.